Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 7. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so this one is 2.7 mile event. Uh, two laps, eleven thousand dollar redos. Let's do this. I have a feeling this could be the last one, but it might be five races. You never know with this game. They have races coming out of anywhere. Right, twelve checkpoints for this race. Off we go. Let's do this. Go 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 go. Get more slipstream. Nice. Just go meow right past. Here we go. Come on. Ah, no. That was a big mistake on my part. I misjudged that corner big time. I didn't realize it was going to be that tight. Come on, come on. Let's go. The fact is as well, I could technically record the entire of Test Driver Limited 2 and save it onto one memory stick because this is recorded in 480p and I can record one of these races is probably about 30 megabytes in size. Oh no, the corner's later. Each one of these races to record is about 40 megabytes in size, not even that. I can send it over Discord without having to edit it. That's impressive. Do you think Forza Horizon 4 for an hour of 60 FPS content is 20 gigabytes? Somewhere around there. It's insane. This is going really well. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Nice. I'm impressed with my drive-in today. Come on. At the next intersection, turn right. Let's not mess this corner up. Nice. That was very good. Is this the final race? We will find out at this finish line. Yep, that's the final race. Club invite Honolulu ex exec. Concept Owners Club. Ooh. We won a Cadillac XLR V. Nice. That's very good. I wonder how many spaces we have in our garage, though. Your itinerary is being I don't think we have many. I think we've nearly filled up our garage already. Hang on. Let's have a look. So we've got this garage here is four cars. You've got the Alfa Romeo, AC, Lotus, Shelby. We got four there. We can afford two more. You know what time it is? Aston Martin time. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Uh, where is the Aston dealership? Aston Martin. There we go. So we can go here. Perfect. We're gonna fast travel here. We're gonna buy ourselves. I think the most expensive is about 170,000. 
But uh, we're going to buy the most expensive. Because I know Aston, like, the cars in this game cost roughly the same as what the real counterparts would be. Your itinerary is being it's pretty realistic for uh, pricing. Just imagine rocking up to an Aston Martin dealership in an Alfa Romeo. Like, one of these. They'd be like, whoa, you're going for a pretty big upgrade. Your destination is a half a mile away. Turn left. Nice. 25 points. At the next intersection, There's Grand left. Class 1 as well. Oh, we were right next to it. With the Aston Martin dealership. Here we go. Let's have a look and see how much it costs. Oh, there's the headlights. It looked like they were about to explode. Okay. So, the V8 Vantage, the DB9, and the DB9 Coupe. 262,000. Holy shit. Though... Could we get a DB9 then? Uh, I want to get the convertible and see if it's actually convertible, but... No. Oh, what? Oh, I have a problem with my uh, PS2 controller that it um, drifts a bit. Um, yeah, we'll go for a DB9 then. I didn't realize it was that expensive. Uh, I think standard DB9 rims. Oh, a Toro Red for an Aston Martin. That looks good. Is there a black, though? No, they've only got green. Come on, it's an Aston. Right, uh, interior, we can get quite a few options, actually. Oh, that looks quite nice. No, not sold on that. I think my favourite so far was the... This one. It was quite nice. Although, black looks quite nice as well. It's a tough choice. We'll go for this one. We'll go for the one that instantly caught my eye. Not the one that maybe Your caught my eye. Right, so we got an invite to V12 Screamers. And the Aston Martin Club. And hopefully we also get an invite... Oh no, that's it. Interesting. But we've already got an Aston Martin, that's sick. Right, so... We've got our Aston Martin now. Nice little DB9 coupe. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run just up the road, actually, from the dealership. Is the... Uh, British Specialist. So hopefully... We can get ourselves a super fast Aston Martin now. Look how nice that looks. I love the Aston Martin. We've already got an Aston as well. That's impressive. Right, here we go. We're going to pick Aston. And we can put the maximum upgrade, which is DB9 Coupe Power Pack 3. Takes us up to 3.8 seconds and 205 miles an hour. And because we did the clubs, we get that for free. There we go. Very nice. I think we're going to take this car to the Aston Martin Club soon anyways today. So. Is being recalculated. Uh, but first of all, Aston Martin needs to go to the Aston Martin series. And I think that's got a target on that. Oh, I just got rid of it because I'm stupid. How do I re-put the marker? I want the marker back. Here we go. There we go. There's definitely a marker on there now. Do not mess up again. Let's give this a drive and see how powerful this car is now. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Oh, are you not going to... Come on, turn around. Thank you. Oh, this is quick. This car is quick. 
I love it. I love it. I'm James Bond now. I can say I'm James Bond. Your destination is two miles away. Two miles away from the race, from the Aston Martin series. Okay. Not ideal. Definitely had a bit of a crash. Can I though? I'm in someone's garden now, and I don't think you can get out. Nope. I'm stuck in a garden. Oh dear. How have I done that? <laughs> Alright, so after our big crash, I don't even know where the crash was. But I uh, managed to get ourselves stuck in a garden. It's a someone's swimming pool. Poor pool. But here we go. We are here at the Aston Martin series challenge thingy my bob. Aston Martin series, that's the word they're using. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't use the word thingy my bob. <laughs> But here we go. Let's go for the first race. This is going to be good. Right. Uh, 18,750 credits for first place and normal difficulty. 2.9 miles per lap for three laps. Let's go. Come on. I do like this game, though. It's a very nice and fun, enjoyable game. got the Aston Martins. I think these are all DB9 coupes, so uh, our Aston should be able to easily beat these guys. Wow. What was that? The AI trying to sabotage my race. Let's see if we can catch back up then. Without decent driving, we should be able to catch up. And our super powerful Aston as well, with our Power Pack 3 upgrade installed. I think that's the last of our free upgrades that we have, though. We may have one more free upgrade, I'm not sure. Come on. This is going really well. Really fast. Speedy speed. My aim that I had whenever I played this game was that I wanted to get like a massive... I wanted to unlock everything. But I know that's not going to happen in this place. Um, but I really wanted to get everything and I couldn't. All I had was a 10 garage house. That was like sort of the end part for me. But I never even completed everything. I don't think I even did the oh did the mega race. Mainly because like look me as a kid didn't really want to sit down for an hour doing a race. I'd love to do it now. Totally. An entire long race that takes up one video. That'd be insane. And driving some crazy fast car as well. I mean, in Test Driver Limited 2, driving around Ibiza, you could only take a A6 class vehicle. So that was like your Subaru Impressors. Not even the Nissan Skyline R34 would be in that category. Wait, we're already on the second lap already? Jeez, that was quick. This car is very quick, though. What's the interior like? Oh, that's a nice interior. Driving like this, though, for some reason, the camera view on both this and the other ones were pretty difficult to drive with. They weren't ideal. There have been uh, games with much better camera views. Uh, to be fair, I think the only one that has a decent camera view is for now. Like Gran Turismo, those were a little bit awkward. I mean, GT Sport was a bit better. They improved it. We're doing very well so far. 150 miles an hour around these corners. 
135 round that corner. And then we crash. Pushed it a bit too far. But we have plenty of distance ahead of the other cars, so we're fine. Not much to worry about today, thank you. We are, once we get up to C-Class and doing C-Class events, we will be taking this car more often, so... No need to worry about that. Here we go. Cool. Those are some decent corners going on today. I think it's like 200 master points per mile. I'm pretty sure. Uh, right, second race has been unlocked of the Aston Martin series. We're quite far ahead. 18,000 points as well. Credit, sorry. That's very good. I'm looking forward to uh, driving in the Aston Martin Club. Um, but this is 1.8 miles for three laps for the second race. 14,000 credits up for grabs. This is going to be good. Awesome. The one thing I love about the PS2 as well is they were built to last. You see, people nowadays, their Xbox are always breaking or there's something wrong with them. Mine's got problems. The software always crashes and shit like that. The PS3 I've got... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The PS3 I've got, there's a massive problem with it with... Um, the OS isn't working properly. But the PS2 is just so simple. There is nothing that can go wrong with it. And what's even better, they made a TV with the PS2 built in it. Instead of a DVD player, they put PS2 hardware. I think this was like 2008 when they were trying to get rid of the last of the PS2s. But they were awesome. I so wish I had one. Like, that would be the coolest thing ever. Nice. This is really good. At the next turn left. Slow down. Get around the first corner again. Turn right. I very much love this game to bits. It's so nice. When you come back to these games, though, you sort of think, I realize. The games that I grew up with are still really decent games. The graphics aren't too bad. They are playable. You think that's pretty impressive. A lot of people nowadays that have like their racing game channels, like, oh, I don't know. I think Rhino's a good one. Rhino GT4. Um, he does a lot of Gran Turismo. But he would have grown up with like Gran Turismo 1 and 2. I grew up with Gran Turismo 5, like, or Gran Turismo PSP, both really good games. I think I've, um, since playing through Gran Turismo PSP for the past month, I think I've gotten more cars than I did in like the three years I actually played that game before. But I've proper grinded out now, because it's fun. Manage to save it. Keep it under control. 
That's the whole point of racing games, is to be able to keep an insane vehicle like these under control. 3 minutes 17.697. We're going to be going on to the next race now. That is very good. Okay, so the third race, this is 1.9 miles for three laps, 15,000 credits. Let's go. I want to get that money. Awesome. Four Aston Martins again. Joe, you know, we technically could, in theory, bump the difficulty up to expert. But you know what? Normal is... I'm here to enjoy the game, not to be the best and prove that I'm good at it. That's not the point of me making videos. It's so that I can play the game and enjoy them again. If no one watched them, I wouldn't care. Because that's not what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it to enjoy the games. It's mostly an excuse to play through some games and enjoy them. But the perk of it is to be able to enjoy it with you guys. And it's just awesome. I love that. Nice. Oh. Okay, cool. I thought we were about to overshoot the corner way too far. I've uh, been checking like PlayStation Twitter for the past what month or so, waiting for pre-orders to open. By the time this video goes out, they may be open. I never know. But um, there are pre-orders coming soon, hopefully. And that is when I'll be pre-ordering my PS5 because I'm getting the PS5. I don't care anymore. At the, next the Xbox Showcase didn't attract me with as many games as uh, the PS5 showcase did because I'm just not into those like medieval old history games too much. The Assassin's Creed is decent because it interests me about that. The others don't too much. Perfect. Come on. Oh no, we spun out. Quick, get into reverse. The problem as well that I hate with games is you can't hold brake to reverse. Which sometimes I hate, but sometimes I like. Like when I want to stop the car, reverse normally kicks in. That's a bit annoying. I don't know. I know Gran Turismo is an absolute nightmare because they have a third button for reverse. You have to press triangle to start reversing. That's just awkward. Here we go. Here's the finish line. Do we get a reward after this? You've won an Aston Martin DB4 GT Zagato. That is a good car. That is an awesome car. We're going to go to the Aston Martin Club next, I think. Uh, whereabouts are you? Uh, let's go to key locations and clubs. That's Club Britannia. We can do that as well. 
Aston Martin Club. Here we go. We are on our way to there next. Let's go. Right, so we've driven about 10 miles so far, and we are on our way uh, in the Aston Martin to the Aston Martin Club. Kind of makes sense that way. And um, I just thought we'd try and record this last... Ah, oh, no. That went wrong. Big time. We're going to see if we could actually get as much speed as possible. Uh, we're going that way. The arrows are so useful as well to when you're going through junctions. Because it is difficult to tell what direction you're actually supposed to be heading in. Your destination is one mile away. 150 miles an hour means 2.5 miles in a minute. Which is insanely quick. Your destination is a half a mile away. At the next intersection, turn left. Why are you making me swap sides? Ah, that's why. Because the club's on the other side of the road. Okay, here we go. You have reached your destination. Hello, Aston Martin Club. Ugh. I was expecting something fancier for an Aston Martin Owners Club. Well, we just got this. Okay, so we're going against uh, DB4 Zagato's two of them. Uh, then we got the V8 Vantage, and then the D uh, some a uh, DB9 Coupe. What we've got. The Vanquish V12S and then the DB9 Volante. Should be easy for us to destroy all of these, except maybe the Vice President, because the Vanquish was the um, more powerful car. We're about six miles an hour faster, so hopefully we should be okay. Um, and then we're moving on to the Britannia Championship. Look at that Zagato, though. I hope we. I don't hope that we don't get another car, but I hope that we don't get another car. Because of the fact that my garage is full. It has no space. And I'm worried that if we do this and we can't actually claim the car back, it'd be a bit of a worry. Oh, don't swap lanes while there's an Aston Martin charging towards you. The car that's coming towards you knows what he's doing. Just stay in your lane. <laughs> okay. Yep. Nice. Oh, yeah. As a uh, yeah. That that was a genuine just full on wallet. Come on, we got this. Oh, 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 there's a junction here. There we go, nice. Bit of off-road penalty there. It's a bit of a shame. Miles ahead of the DB4 at the moment, though. Not that I'm complaining, because I'm winning. These are cool though. The clubs are like the coolest part of the game. Just go to the clubs and enjoy it. Perfect. Okay, we got another corner. Ah, uh, what's going on here? Traffic cars trying to ruin my race. Okay, keeping it steady. Don't set Highlands. Oh, wow. No, no, no. Get back on the track. Remember, it's time-based off-road, not um, distance-based. So as soon as you go off-road, you have a chance of losing it all. Nice. 
Nice. Come on. Keep it moving. Ah, uh, not ideal. I remember there's like a club that's insane. Insanely difficult. It took me like a week to finish it. Because it was so tricky. But because I'm like so much better at driving games now, I would presume it wouldn't take me a week. There we go though. First place. 3 minutes 29.077. That was good. Nice bit of money. And the audio's glitched out again. <laughs> that always seems to happen on the uh, PS2 version. I'm not sure about the uh, PSP version though. Right, let's go against the next DB4, against Sarah. Sarah Elizabeth. We're going to uh, beat you in our Aston Martin DB9. Yeah, yeah. I mean, technically it's not fair because we are in an Aston Martin DB9, but... Oh, that other Aston sounds so good, though. And we're off. 7.2 miles. Wow. Oh, no. Sarah tried following us and ended up uh, crashing into another traffic car. So did we. Oh, my gosh. The cars go flying. I love that in this game. Like, cars don't just get knocked like they do in... Um, TDU2. They get flung. Like a car stands no chance in this. That's awesome. Let's see some more speed. I don't think we've actually gotten a car into 200 mile an hour range yet. Oh, we messed that up big time. I didn't actually see the corner coming. I wasn't paying attention to the minimap. I was paying attention to the uh, sat nav instructions. She told me the corner was coming up just a little bit too late. All right, we've got a left-hand turn coming up. Awesome. Come on. This is nice. At the next intersection. This is also good to play to build up hype for the TDU game that got announced. Oh no, wrong side of the road. I don't feel like we could cross over either because um, we may end up getting a penalty if we're not quick enough. So I'm going to just uh, risk it on this side for now. Got the club on the... Uh, left over there. There we go. There's the Aston Martin Club. This guy is crazy. He's driving on the wrong side of the road in an Aston Martin. It is going to be good to uh, unlock those higher up races though get some more races, more events, more vehicles. Epic. I am still aiming as well. Finishing every single race this game has to offer. Turn left. I don't... Oh, no, that's... That's the wrong button. Um, I don't think I'm going to do, like, 100% getting gold on everything. Because that's just not my style. 
but definitely attempt in every single race. Because I know Colin McRae Dirt 2 is the only game on the channel that I've 100%ed and got first in everything. There we go, nice. First place, 3 minutes 53.256 and 4,750 credits. That's only two races done. We got another four to do. It's insane. Right. Aston Martin V8 Vantage next. Driven by Blake Carmichael. I have a... I presume that would be one word. But uh, that last name does resemble the two words Car and Michael. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.